to say that we have uh, just acquired the whole retail estate of Thomas Cook. From Hayes Travel HQ came that video announcement. Good news at last for Thomas Cook retail staff. I believe there'll always be a need for uh, the high street travel agent and face-to-face -face communication. The firm he runs with his wife started in Sunderland 40 years ago. We would really welcome um, applications from any Thomas Cook staff. We'd love you to join the Hayes Travel family. Hayes Travel will buy all 555 Thomas Cook shops and they've already taken on 597 of the redundant workers. Eventually 2,500 jobs could now be saved. I'm told that a high percentage of these shops will reopen tomorrow with the rest following within days. But of course the name will change and this familiar brand will disappear from Britain's high streets. And for redundant workers, a warm, welcoming message from new bosses. Let's look after each other. You're appreciated. Bye. See you at the Christmas party. I was just in tears, absolutely flood, floods of tears, tears of joy and happiness. And the last two weeks, three weeks, have just been just so emotional, up, down. And this is, you know, light at the end of, of that tunnel. <laughs> fun at a staff function, but for this new king of high street travel, a serious business plan. Industry experts say the stores can be profitable, now free of Thomas Cook's HQ and other costs. It built up a lot of debt through acquiring other travel companies, and that caused it problems, they had to service that debt. It wasn't so much they weren't selling holidays, they were in large numbers, and in many cases through their high street shops. A transformation meaning many towns will get a new high street name. Thousands of workers, new hope. Chris Choi, ITV News.